This here is a good old WordPress contact form for event registration. But what if we tweak it a bit? For example, in a way you see right now, we have an event date, name and email fields, and we have a bunch of repeatable fields here. Also, those fields here, also we use a conditional logic to show the fields. For example, these fields, name, email and occupation is for March 15, 28 and April 11. But if we choose April 15, we have another field here. It's fairly easy to accomplish, so if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Now, first things first, in order to create repeatable fields, you need a premium plugin called Fluent Forms. It's one of the best forms out there. It has a premium version and a free version. As you see, free version has currently more than 100,000 active installations and approximately 300 five-star reviews here. With the help of the free plugin, you can create almost all sorts of WordPress contact forms. But if you need repeatable fields, then you need a premium version. Currently, the pricing is $59 for one domain license. But if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon code for you. It also has a lifetime license. And this coupon code applies also to the lifetime licenses. Now, when this is out of the way, Let's create a form with repeatable fields. First, I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and search for Fluent Forms, this one here. Install and activate it. And after that, go to the plugins, add new, upload plugin, and upload the pro version you downloaded after purchasing the premium version. Install and activate this one. And as you see, there is a Fluent Forms pro menu on the left go to the global settings here you can set the label placement help message placements whether you would like to receive the email summaries i deactivate it usually bunch of settings here but what i suggest you to activate this is the honeypot security it keeps a spam away if you're using classic editor then activate the button for it here and enable no conflict mode save settings and now let's create a form. Click on new form. And there is a bunch of pre-made forms here, but we're going to create a blank form. I'm going to click on the title and give it the title. For example, event form, rename it. And first thing I need to add is a radio field. Just click on it. It appears here. I'm going to edit it and, and I'm going to give it the title. For example, choose event date. Now options, March 15, March 28, April 11th, and April 15th. Whether it's required or not, yes, it's required. Now I'm going to open up the advanced option. And there is a layout option here. I'm going to open it up and I can choose whether it's inline, button styles, two column styles, and so on. I like the button type style the most, so I'm going to choose this one here. Nothing else to configure, therefore I'm going to open up the container field. I'm going to add two column container. Here I'm going to add a name field. Placeholder is enter your name. It's required. Next I'm going to add an email address. Enter your email as a placeholder. And now I'm going to open up input fields and advanced fields. And there is a repeatable field here. I'm going to click on it. One more thing, if I would like to rearrange the position, then I just drag and drop it. At the moment, repeater field is here. I'm going to give it a title. Participants. I'm going to hide the label. And now I'm going to add the columns. First column, it's a text field. And the uh, Field name is participant name. Placeholder is name. Now I'm going to add another column. Just press on the plus button here. Open it up. It's a email field. Participant email as a label and email as a placeholder. It's required. Also the name is required. Let's add another one here. This time it's going to be a select field. 
give it the title for example occupation and now something to choose from for example designer programmer or consultant it's not the required field therefore i'm gonna leave it as it is now i'm gonna open up advanced option and i'm gonna use conditional logic you don't have to use it but i'm gonna show you how to do that so i'm gonna show this field only if event date is march 15th or it equals march 28th or it equals april 11th i'm gonna save the form and now i'm gonna duplicate this field this occupation field is gonna be numeric field and the label is gonna be id code enter your id code as a placeholder and i can choose whether it's required or not now under the advanced option i'm gonna delete those two conditions and i'm gonna set it up that choose event date equals april 15th i'm gonna save it one more thing let's customize the button here give it the title for example register button size small medium large let's set it to medium i can set the button style no style red orange and so on or under the custom i can choose the colors i'm gonna set it to no style that means it's gonna take all the styling from my team itself i'm gonna save it go to the settings and integration open up email notification here i can set it up for example hi under the short codes hi this is the name of the sender here thank you for registration we will get in touch with you shortly here i can also set uh, label al alignments i can override the global settings here also i can set up the maximum number of entries for example 10 if the 11th person wants to submit the form then it's not allowed i can schedule the form set up days or dates i can show the form only to logged in users and i can deny the empty submissions if all this is done i'm gonna save it and go to the email notifications I'm going to activate it, open it up, send to email, whether it's admin email, but maybe it's this email. If I separate it to commas, then I can send it to multiple email addresses. Subject, whatever it is, for example, event registration, email body contains all the data, but you can choose under the short codes what is the information you would like to see on your email i'm gonna leave it as it is conditional logic i can set it up that if the event date is march 28th then the email will be sent to th those two email addresses i can set up another email notification for the other conditions but at the moment i'm not going to do that i'm going to open up the advanced and under the from name i'm gonna select the name from email is my own domain and my own email address that means that there will be less problems with sending the email from your site but the reply to email address i'm gonna select as sender email now save notification and all is done under the preview and design you can see how does it look like you can choose from the templates as you see here bunch of templates for you but i'm gonna leave it as a default now i'm gonna add it to my site that means i'm gonna add a new page give it the title for example registration now i'm gonna search for fluent forms i'm gonna select the form event form publish let's open up the page itself and there it is choose the event date march 15th as you see those are the fields here for March 28th and April 11th but if I choose April 15 as I see there is a typo here back to the editor open it up and April 15 now since I changed the name of this selection I also have to tweak this one here 
advanced option and April 15th save form refresh and it works again now if I would like to set up the default date then I'm gonna open up the form once again choose a event date and I'm gonna select this one this will be the default selection for the person who will arrive on the page let's test whether it works I'm gonna fill the details it's gonna be Clint Clint at eastwood.com next one is gonna be Brad from the pit company and last one is gonna be Barack from the Obama company click on register this is our message and now let's see how does the email looks like as you see there is an email event registration event date name and participants here if I go to the back end once again I can see the entries here as you see I can open it up and there you go and that's how you create a WordPress form with repeatable fields now if you would like to download those entries as a PDF file or you would like the person who sends the email to receive it as a PDF file there is a way for you to send and download those submissions as a PDF files if you're interested then take a look at the screen right now there is a video I have made about this topic now before you go press thumbs up and let me know in the comments how did you like the video meanwhile take care